still some streets out there that really haven't even seen a plow or don't have any salt at this point. Yeah, a lot of people still struggling right now. Local 12's Christian Hauser found out that may not be that bad of a situation when compared to some folks who live on streets that were actually plowed. You've been on those where it doesn't even look like they have, but you've seen the plow go there. He joins us live now to show us why and also the importance of being prepared ahead of these winter storm events. Christian, easier than said, my friend. <laughs> Yeah, but remember, Kyle, preparation is key and it'll serve you well in the long run. If you take a look at this car behind me, I honestly don't know what this guy's going to do to try and get this out of here. It's surrounded by a mixture of slush and ice, the slush being on top from the plows and the salt and whatnot, but underneath just big chunks of ice. So I don't really know how he's going to do this. And with those, you know, those single digit temps that John was just talking about, that's just going to make this into a giant chunk of ice, really. And for people that live on this street, this is a common thing, and as these plows come by and push all this over, it just creates a nightmare for everyone. I was driving around looking at which areas had been plowed and which hadn't. There were plenty of side streets which looked like crews had only made one pass or not touched them at all. <coughs> Noah Heiler was trying to clear his car off as much as possible. Heiler says he normally drives to work. But today, he's just trying to dig out a little bit, and then he's going to walk to work. So I just wanted to start my car, basically, and make sure that it worked um, and get, like, the majority of the snow off it. I'm able to walk into work, so I just started it up. Now I'm on the into work. The grind never stops. I kept driving around and came across Skyland Doyle, who lives on Straight Street, which, if you're not familiar with, it's one of the steepest streets in Cincinnati, in my opinion. Last year was not this bad. I think there was one day where my car was kind of like snowed in and we had to shovel spots to like then park into but it wasn't this bad last winter. She blames the ice for today's trouble. I think that it rained for an entire day before it started snowing and then it all like froze over. I could have done myself a favor and like parked in the direction I needed to go down the street but it's okay. That's exactly what this man did. He knew he was going to have trouble getting out so he let gravity work for him. Everyone who's parked on the street knows that they'll get boxed in by the plows. Whenever they plow it, it just moves the snow onto the car. So I came out this morning and had given it a shot, but they hadn't even plowed yet. So I just just stopped and was like, I'll just wait till they plow. The saying goes, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. And being prepared for these winter weather events can mean the difference between being stuck and calling off work or digging yourself out. Skyland didn't have any salt, but she did have some kitty litter, which was used for traction. Plus, a rubber car mat was also used to help give her tires some needed grip. After some back and forth, she was able to make it out. Now, Doyle did promise that she was going to buy some salt. Now, one thing I noticed as driving around today, so many people had just kind of these plastic uh, snow shovels that really, you know, you try to attack this, you really can't. You really need something stronger, like a, a heavier-duty plastic shovel or a metal shovel to really get through this ice. And again, coming all back to preparation, you know, you just, you gotta have this stuff on hand because if you if you need to go get it, like this guy right here, you can't. Live in Coryville, Christian Hauser, Local 12 News. Hold up, Christian, I gotta ask you a question. Was that you helping that young woman uh, out of the snow there? Her car was stuck, was that you? That was me, Kyle. That was me. I actually uh, I, I helped quite a few people out today with uh, with this. So I uh, got quite a workout. I forgot how tough it is to uh, to shovel this stuff because this stuff it's really heavy too. It's really compact, really dense. So trying to get it up, it is a, it is an absolute pain. And um, especially working with a, a, a plastic shovel. That's why I mentioned that because it was uh, it was not doing very very much work trying to get that uh, that ice and snow out of the way. Local 12's Christian Hauser to the rescue. Christian, I always say you're the journeyman of Local 12. You're proving my point right there. Great job today, Christian. We Thank asked you, you on Facebook how long it usually takes before your street gets treated and plowed. The answer is varied wildly from a few hours to a day and even longer in some cases, depending on what part of the tri-state you live in. ODOT says highways around the state are improving, but trucks are 